just put the uh, vehicle down so I can get out. You see it there lowering. There you go. They think of everything. Beautiful car. New into stock, we have a Range Rover 4.4 TD V8 Vogue. It's the SE version, it's a 2011 on a 61 plate. It's done 92,593 miles. It's a beautiful car with lots of accessories, fully loaded vehicle, um, and it's, it's, it is exceptional inside and out. Fuel economy, urban 24.6, extra urban 34.5, combined is 30.1, 0-60 time of 7.5 seconds and a top speed of 130 miles an hour out of a 308 brake horsepower engine. The, the fuel economy, in all honesty, I would say you'd be lucky to get that, but even so, out of a vehicle like this, um, that, that really is exceptional. Six months road tax is £286, 12 months is 520 It's uh, MOT'd until the 8th of the 10th, 2018, so uh, we'll be getting a new MOT. Um, I'll take you for a ride in it. The car is beautiful. As I say, even, even to be able to lower the suspension when you get out, um, they think of everything, uh, Range Rover, Land Rover. The car's finished in Fuji white with charcoal leather. I'll just take you for a ride in it now. that okay we've got two ignition keys it's keyless go but it's uh, remote opening and locking so uh, just turn that as you can see here I'll just show you a couple of uh, good good things in this car good lots of accessories on it um, if we're going to audio video there we've got TV There you go, there's TV, and uh, you can change the channels from the steering wheel here. Um, right, home menu, some more accessories here. Rear entertainment, we've got two screens in the back here, and we've also got, um, I'll, I'll insert a video in here, we've got uh, a remote control in the rear centre armrest which uh, I've never seen one of those before it's uh, extremely good and um, cameras there you go we've got uh, cameras in the front cameras in the back cameras in the mirror so you've got special views you've got a you've got proximity view um, you can see around you let's just go back special views trailer view curb view and then junction view so junction view I'll just show you this as you can see just cocked it up by putting it in reverse um, we've got three position electric memory seat it also remembers the steering wheel and the door mirrors these controls here you can set them to open your garage door I believe I'd never seen them before so again that's uh, something new on me we've got a heated steering wheel I'll just take you for a ride anyway these vehicles are awesome we've also got in the mirrors there you'll just see an orange dot and that's your blind spot warning very very warm today This is a, a proper vehicle. If you're going anywhere, this is what you want to be in. Because it doesn't matter what happens, you'll get there. 
It can go through anything or over anything. It's also got the electric tilt and slide sunroof as well. We'll just pull that blind across. Now, I forgot to read the service history. I'll do so when we get uh, when we get back. If I can. Uh, say you cannot be serious. Wipe out. See everything that's at the side of you. And there's the other views. So you get your curves, you can see how far up to the line you are, so you don't curb your expensive alloys. And over there, and even where you've been by the look of it. and also cooled from this switch here so at the moment there's this nice kind of breeze blowing through the perforated leather which uh, stops you getting all hot and sweaty on your back reset it been ticking over on the carport while I've been photographing it and videoing it so that's certainly not a true reflection this won't be too accurate obviously you'd need to run it for a week or so to get a proper average but we'll see what happens and really love these vehicles they're so comfortable this one's had new discs all round um, it's had new shock absorbers and airbags all around, not because it needed them, but because I, uh, the, the previous owner or the, the, the last guy um, thought it would drive better with them. And that's uh, a, a couple of thousand pounds at least. Uh, that's the, the switch I've shown you before. That lowers the vehicle for you to get out if you if you can't make the, the step. We've got power folding door mirrors. It's got front and rear parking sensors. It's got a rear view, uh, a reversing camera. Um, it's got headlamp wash, high, high pressure wash. It's got xenons. We've got cup holders here. We've got sat nav. Bluetooth hands free. And we've got um, I knew he was going to do that. That's it. Pull into a space that's not there. Steering wheel. 
wheel. Got a heated front screen. The tailgate is split in two. The bottom, I don't know, 25% of the tailgate, 30% of the tailgate folds down. So when you're loading shopping, you can just open the top part of this tailgate, chuck everything in. And the bottom part, if you're loading through, it's a flat load area. The tailgate is strong enough to sit on. And uh, multi-spoke alloys, all the tires are good. Finished in Fuji white charcoal leather front central armrest and you've got this whacking big front central armrest here there's plenty of room on the uh, armrest here for lazy drivers like me just go on to navigation show you the navigation menu there agree so before when you pull up at junctions you can see over everybody anyway, or normally you can. We could be here for a while. So most cars are about uh, the front seat passenger's comfort, um, not the Range Rover. You see here we've got heated and cooled seats for the uh, back passengers, there you go. You've also got adjustable backrest here, you've got lumbar support and you can recline the seat. And also, if the uh, if your bodyguard here in the front seat's encroaching on your space, you can override their seat control and squash them onto the dashboard. You see, we've got uh, Top Gear as well on the TV. You've got. <laughs> Headphones, which plug into here, and your controls there. You've also got your own climate controls. But the really good thing, if you pull that down and this up, you've got here a remote control that's constantly recharged in the rear centre armrest, and you can uh, control the DVD or, or programs fantastic car this it, uh, it really is can't actually get to 70 just here
the cruise control which I didn't realize that's just it's set to 70 you can see the uh, the green arrow there on the speedo and then uh, as you get closer or too close to the car in front I'm just gonna have to speed up or otherwise I'm not gonna catch him there you go it's actually applying the brakes and slowing me down and keeping me at a safe distance this car is so good. Now he's, oh, he's coming off as well. As soon as he clears there, there you go, speeding up again. Unfortunately, there's a Rosa there, so I don't want to be going too fast. So lumbar support there. Possibly just be able to hear it. Got Harman Kardon speakers. It's 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 just got absolutely everything you could possibly want. Portable audio CD. Dab radio. TV DVD. got a split screen as well so uh, you can have the TV on for the passenger and the people in the back and you can have your uh, sat nav on and you can't see the TV and the passenger can't see your sat nav your blind spot monitor again there controls here for off-roading and so on and this vehicle will go off-road King 
mid-size Range Rover, not the Sport. And uh, anything you get in after this feels like a toy. CD. That little switch there drops the, the lower um, part of the glove box. DVD, which you can play in the back as well. There's also um, a DVD player in the boot. on this Range Rover, you could have it 10 years and still not know what everything did. Just a bit of their history on this vehicle. Now then, that's a shame we couldn't just... Have had those cameras on then, couldn't they? The cameras. Proximity view. There you go. Special views. Junction view. So that's junction view. Could have just done with it then. Just see there. And we can see in front and we can see that chap over there. towing assist there. You can set it up for all sorts, a horse box, a caravan, a trailer. This has got a, a tow bar attachment as well. Brakes. 
speed box and the rotary gear selector, terrain response, cup holders. Car's got a full service history and it's a proper service history with a service book that's been stamped with the dates and mileage. So here we go, just over here, 19th of the 11th, 2012, at uh, Land Rover Company Vehicles, 17,677 miles it was serviced. Then at 33,860 at Farnall Land Rover Leeds on the 7th of 8th 2013. Next service, final again, 46,949 miles, 19th of 9th 2014, then 9th of 10th 2015 at 58334, final again, 71993, 6th of 10th 2016, final again, 71993, yeah. 84414 on the 4th of 10th 2017 Farnell and uh, sorry what was that miles 84414 and it's now done after that drive 92619 Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav. Turn that down a second. Brandy screen menu, destination entry, address, points of interest, postcode. Postcode's the easiest one. So we're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Walkley Dale, Preston, PR5. Now you have to use a space when there's only two numbers. So space four and then J. That's okay. Destination. Destination's nearby. Please check the map. That's because we're sat on the full court. But it's very easy to, to do. Okay, I'll just show you how to pair a mobile to the Bluetooth system in this uh, Range Rover. So, any screen, onto home menu. Just make sure here. Bluetooth is switched on, on, phone, if your vehicle has the phone feature fitted, please pair and or connect your phone, so we'll just wait for it to show up here, Land Rover's come up, click, click Land Rover, and then 2121, 21. pair, allow contacts and favourites to sync, I won't, but you will, um, I won't be using the car again, and that's it connected, so it's simple as that.